All right. I'll show you how I had a. How I get them out. Hold on, I'll get no slack over this, but I've been doing this for years, like this. I take it, and if you can see that right there, that's your bearing. Gonna, uh, you know what? See, I'm pushing that. <laughs> I don't push from that side. I push from that side when I'm in, when I'm finished. Take that. And, whoop, push it out like so, right? And that's it. Then, make sure your hat stays on. Find my other tool. Sorry about that. Got my tool. Alright, so you see how you got the bearing right there, the bearing lock. I take this heel bar here. Blue point says I just got it from the snap on man. And I take it and I pry against the lock and the engine block. You see that? And watch. Just roll it on down. Now I know I'm not reusing these bearings, so this is why I do it like this. If I was inspecting them, then I probably wouldn't do it like that. Now, also, I'm glad I did this one. This is the first washer in here also. So I take this, you can take that out too. It doesn't really matter. Now remember, on these they have uh, they have a block side and a crank side, so those oil spaces there go in between the block. I mean, go in between the uh, bearing and the crank, and the step side numbers goes towards the block. No uh, big thing on rolling it out. Just roll it out, roll it back in. I take that, throw it in my old pile, and I take this. This is so easy. You just take your finger and pull it on out. Bam. Boom. Now, rule of thumb here: when you pull your rod cap off, if you ever forget what way went forward, if it doesn't say forward or backward or arrows or whatever, it's always lock to lock. So, if you're looking at that lock and you see that edge, that lock there, you want to put your rod cap or your main cap and lock that bearing to that bearing. And that's how they stay together. It's always that way. So, throw that in the old pal. Let me get a new bearing over here. Show you how we're going to put that in. And, uh... Another thing is you can't really get the bearings mixed up because on this engine you can't. And that's not the right one there. Here we go. I had already put this one in on the wrong one, but it'll be okay though. Ain't nobody gonna say anything, I don't think. <laughs> Still gonna run good. Anyway, so we take that and let's make sure we got it all cleaned off here, especially on the back. Make sure you don't have any breeze in there. All right, now you see that. So we got where we're putting it at in that journal. Not gonna really worry about the, uh, the thrust washer, but you just roll that sun bitch in there like so. Now, if you push on it, if you push on it like that, 
we get it pretty much all the way up there. And I go back to my screwdriver and I use this end, not the abrasive end. And I go and I push it the rest of the way up in there. And until you get it locked. Scoot it over a little bit. That's too much. It normally doesn't move that much. But. And then. Go ahead and push the rest of the way up in there. So, since that one, uh, need to need the thrust washers. So, into a bag here, open up the washer, one out. And remember, like I said, the step side is to the block. Number side to the block. Oil. Oil dashes in there for the crank side. Bam. Now, if you go and try to push that one out and it won't come. Then, all you got to do is. Come here, get you. in between this crank, I mean in between this journal, and pry that way. So you pry that way, and boom. And it won't move, so you just go ahead and stick a screwdriver up there, get that one loose, and roll that one around too, and boom, that's what it looks like. So, crank side, block side. And they're only, uh, they're only at the top. And it actually says it on there. Now, I am seeing a little bit different here in the thrust washers. I'm gonna check them. I might need to measure these, but uh, I think they're pretty good. Oh, yeah. So it went in just as easy as it came out there. So, one reason I say that is that I see a little bit more gap in between here and the block. But that's fine. So. Keep on rolling. Go to the next one. So same thing. Push on that in. Get it out. Take your heel bar. Just the lady slipper. Whatever you guys may want to call it. Sorry I'm moving the camera around so much. I'm pretty sure y'all got you know, dizzy. But uh, anyway. So we just roll it and scratch it on up. I know nobody likes to hear scratch while working on a crank. Look at all that oil coming out of there. That's why this is a dirty job. See? Getting soaked rolling in main bearings. That's what I'm going to name this video. Look how much oil is coming out of that shit. Mm -mm -mm. I got to lay right there to do the last three. Shit, come on. But anyway, I'm going to do that same thing like that. Roll them in. I'm going to clean all that oil up. Wait till that shit finish dripping. And uh, do it the same way. Keep it moving. And all I have to do is one. Well, I have to do three more. Tighten these up and then I'll put them in the caps. But putting them in the caps is pretty simple. And uh, I'll be back. 